Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Ren, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark Survival Evolved Solo Series. So, uh, I have finally managed to figure out the issue with the fridges. Well, I didn't figure it out, I just figured out that they work over in this area. This area is like a no-go. And before anything else, let me just disable sparks. I Can I hide the cable? I can. Wonderful. We have the cooker powered. We have the industrial grill powered. And I also finally have enough materials to hopefully make both things. Namely, the industrial grinder, which is very, very metal and crystal heavy. And we are missing more crystal and cementing paste, just a teeny tiny bit. Uh, I know I have cementing paste here, but sadly no crystal. I don't know if there's any crystal on Coco, I doubt it. No crystal here either. Okay, so the industrial... The little industrial uh, chemistry bench will have to wait. Maybe, actually. Actually. Is this enough crystal? It is. Perfect. Now we have both things. And we can also craft one vault, I think. But for now, let me grab the... Uh, chemistry bench and the industrial grinder. And let's see where we can put this bad boy because it is kind of big. But I think it's like two foundations. Which is good. There we go. And it fits perfectly into the area. It's also powered. And now with this, we can make um, propellant. And for that, we need... Okay, sulfur, feces we have, and cactus sap we can get from sap. So that's something we have to work on. We need sap from... Okay, and cactus sap we get sap from. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the industrial... The chemistry bench, not the industrial one. Uh, well... For that, I would love to first things first get, and I need crystal for that too. Okay, we will put off uh, putting the chemistry bench down for now, and let's put it over here. And as you can see in my inventory, I have crafted up uh, three behemoth gates, gateways, and. To behemoth gates i also have narcotics i have tranquilizer darts and i do believe i made a couple more yes i have and i've also crafted the uh journeyman long neck and not to forget where is she there she is the 116 dodie is all tamed up and i named her trouble because it seemed very, very fitting. Pinball is on level um, 195 now. And there is a ton more stone in him. But in this episode, as I promised last time, I do want to head out and tame a Rex. Now, I also have an Anki in my... Oh, I should... Speaking of cryopods, I should probably grab some. Maybe we'll tame up a couple of dinos on the way because I kind of want to start on a... Uh, let's call it a provisional kibble farm. Because for more efficient teams, we need uh, kibble. And kibble is made out of dino eggs, so... We do have some. I've also moved everything from here to the fridges already. Uh, what was I gonna grab? Cryopods. Yes. Uh, let me grab... Three. Three should be good. Yes. And let's go ahead 
and uh, fly over to this bay first because I know Rexes do spawn there as well as Carnos, Raptors and everything else that could potentially kill us. So yeah, let's go ahead and go here first, scout out the area and if all else fails we can always go to Carno Island see what the island has to offer us okay there are some there's an alpha raptor there level four level 20 bronto level 48 and let me just pinpoint you level 64 so you can go and you can go anybody else yes there's a couple more here we have a level 12 bronto a 120 oh 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 that's huge oh boy uh okay so what we need to do now is um Kill this Rex. Okay. Okay, we have that done. Also get rid of everything else over here. Uh, just don't know how exactly. Uh, let, let's just have this thing bite us first. Oh, Stego. Okay, Stego is dead, Bronto is dead also. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I need to kind of clear this area out first. To place the gates down. And I don't want it to come here just yet. That will be a no bueno. I think we're in the good. Okay, let's place down one. Kind of like so. Like so. Let me check. They shouldn't be able to. Oh, this is kind of wide. Yeah. Okay, we are reconfiguring this. I should probably do that in K mode. Um, yeah, might not be the dumbest idea, kind of to get an angle. I think this should be fine, and then one more like so. Is this okay now? I would say yes. Okay, let's put the this gate down. Um, switch to manual this one switch to manual okay let's see if we can lure this lady to us hello wanna follow me you know you do yeah yeah you roar you roar Come on. Now you are just focused on everything but me. Okay. Okay, Stego down. This should probably also a 104. And definitely the Raptor has to go. Come on. Come on. Thankfully, Coco has like enough health to. Do you have a tension span of a guppy? No, no, you're still very much following. Okay. Now your turning radius is kind of meh. Okay. Can she escape? Mm, that doesn't look like it. 
Yeah. You are on passive. Wonderful. And now we just have to uh, knock her down. I know this is not exactly the most exciting part. Just having the dino captured and everything else, but I will never pass up on a, a 120 white T-Rex. So, okay, let's tame her up. Let's see how many Trank Darts she's actually gonna need. And the- oh, this gap might be the one where she escapes, now that I see it. So definitely not the best trap, but it's fine, it's fine. Come on, you know you want to slowly run towards 50-50. Let me also check. Okay, that's just Bronto Tails. <laughs> you want to run away or no? Or are you just stuck there? Ah, oh, she might be just stuck. Even though I kind of doubt it. Come on. You can roar all you want. Okay, she's slowly turning, she's running away. And let's get into the butt shots. I don't know if she can just <gasps> Yo Oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, 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 okay. Um well, let's make this a bit more interesting then. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Oh no. Go down. Go down. Don't go into the water. No. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Coco, you're letting me down. Okay, maybe if we do it like so. We should be good still. No, don't go into the water again. Don't go into the water again. Ooh, okay, okay, we got some action going. We got some action going. Yeah, I thought the gap might be a tad bit too big. Um Okay, so let me just get rid of everything and anything that could potentially... Hey, that's mine. Rude. Okay, how to do this now? How to protect you? Go away, go away, go away, go away. Um. Oh, 
wood. And spanked wooden wall. Wooden spec wall. Obviously I need wood for that. Fiber wood hide. So easy, easy going. I think I might have some wood. No, I don't. I do have oh no, I need fiber. Eh. Okay, let's grab uh, this. Let's grab some wood and some fiber. I do want to kind of uh, make make a wall around her just to, you know, to be on the safe side. Oh, let's craft up a bunch of these. I think I'm going to be missing some more wood. There's another Rex over there. Let me just scout you out. 16, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to work really, really fast with this. And I should probably do it like so. It's easier. Kind of make sure not to get too close to her. So, like, so should be good. Oh yeah, and it does snap, so no, 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 no snaps, no snaps. Okay, this is this is what I'm looking for, like so, and then again, no snaps, like so, like so. I'm probably making this circle uh, bigger than it needs to be. Actually, no. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and get rid of that Rex in case it comes over here. There we go. Get rid of you. And then make a couple more walls. Two, what am I missing? Fiber now. Okay. Fiber is thankfully easy, easy to get. And four more. More wood, I would say. Like this. And like this, and then I think after this we should, yeah, nine more, we should have more than enough. Uh, let's go to no snaps again. I think I'm crafting more than I need. Then again, there's this rock here. I'm kind of scared that dinos might be able to just jump across. Uh, let's actually seal it off like this. Just to be sure. And have it be like, whoa. Like this. Okay. Uh, the only problem now <laughs> is I'm kind of trapped here. Not anymore. Uh, let me put this down again. <laughs> Walk around, see what her food is at. Actually, go land like so. Um. Tool pour is good. Health is really nice. Stamina also. Weight will probably go up. Melee damage as well. Maybe even a bit of movement speed. Um, let me grab at least a bit of prime. Depending on how 
Okay, this is about to be spoiled. And I don't really want that, so... Brontos! Oh, there were Brontos up here. So I can grab some more Prime. And this over here is something I'm going to fix. I'm just gonna add fence foundations and more fences. So it's not an escapable trap anymore. Or prime meat before it actually... Before it actually was full with inventory. Okay, let me do this then. Like so. And let's scout out some more Brontos! Should be some Brontos over here, no? I don't know if fairies give... Prime? They do. There's something big... not big, but bad over here. You and you and you and you and you and you and you. Okay. We should be in the good now. Oh, there's more Brontos that spawned right there. Okay, so let me grab the fresh prime if possible. Because I don't really want to wait. Three minutes. No, no. Prime. And then just add a bunch of this fresh one. And generally just grab a couple of. Oh my god. <laughs> just generally grab a couple of stacks of meat. Jump down. Put it all in. Oh! That was fast. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, so what are we going to name you? I think Rexy. Our very first 120 Rex. And I think you should be good to go. So that was like, I don't know how much Prime. 179, it was a perfect tame. So Kibble isn't really necessary for our for our teams considering there are the taming speed is up by five so yeah we don't necessarily need kibble but you know for the sake of being even faster in taming i do want to make kibble and that's why i want to start the kibble farm but first things first we want to make a rex saddle for our new girl and actually check out her stats as well let me just fly on over here and kind of another thing i want to tame up next is a relatively high level bronto because as you saw in coco let me just show you here there is a ton of spoiled meat on him and this is also going to spoil relatively fast so yeah we have a ton a ton of spoiled meat at the ready let's whistle passo let's make you a saddle if i can grab some more metal like so Primitive Rex saddle. Sadly, there is no saddle blueprint just yet, but we'll probably get to that as well. And where is where is it? There it is. Grab it, put it on you. 5.5k health, 2,700 melee damage. The movement speed stayed the same. There we go. Oh, she's a big girl. She is a very, very big girl. Let's go like so. Zoom out. Oh, she's eating. Okay, that's, that's valid. 
That's very, very valid. And the roar is just mighty. Can you roar again? No. Okay. That's fine. She also has a level up. Let's chomp. Yeah, that ragdoll was something else. Rex has a level up. And before leveling up, I will just take a screenshot of her stats uh, to, well, essentially just uh, figure out what the potential offsprings will have. Uh, I would say a couple more points into melee damage. 10k% percent melee damage should be enough. Now let's take her out for a spin. That's a level 10. 100 stego, okay. Let's pump... Um, I would say... 25k health should be good. And it's going to take a while for her to heal up. That's just fine. Let's chomp on you. Let's chomp on you. I'll sell on this stago. Basically, let's clear out the whole island. Okay, and you are out of stamina. <laughs> Eight more points. Uh, I would say... Like, 5k stam should be good, and then weight should be next. Let me just try and speed up the healing process a little bit. Okay, we should be in the... Good. Let's chomp you. And let's also chomp on you. And now we are full. Also, one more level up. That's two. And they are gonna go into wait. Okay, this is a very, very powerful Rex. A very, very nice Rex as well. And I'm really, really happy that we have our first on-screen big game team after all. And I think this is also a very nice way to wrap up this episode. So thank you so much for watching and joining me on my adventures. The little action with the taming really, really did us good. It was really, really nice. And yeah, essentially, we have our first big girl, big game tame. And I couldn't be more happy about it. So yeah, if you liked this episode, please leave a like. Also, perhaps comment down below what you liked about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe because it really means a lot. It takes a couple of seconds. It's free and it really, really helps grow the channel. And also, if you want to follow me on my socials, they are listed down below as always. And as are the settings on which I play the survival series. I will go ahead and do some off-screen things. I will finally set up this area over here, farm up some more materials so we can get into our into our um, vaults because they do require a lot of resources. And yeah, I'll see you definitely, guys, in the next one. So bye.